Welcome to day number five. Good morning. Good morning. I get sometimes a little distracted during the story, so we've got some cows for me to stack up. I'm going to try to build a tower all the way to the sky. Out of, out of cows. Out of cows. Why not? Well, I guess if you're a farmer, you build with cows. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's sing our song. Let's sing our song. By faith I believe God spoke worlds into existence, so that all I see was made from things I cannot see. By faith I believe God formed the first man in His image, breathing in the breath of life, the same He breathed in me. I am not. Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1-1. That's what it says. I, I you think you that. guys know that by now. That's a good verse cold. to know. Well, well, we're still reading stories from the Old Testament. That's the first part of the Bible. And this story is about, it's another building story. The story that we read yesterday was a story where God wanted to build something and he instructed Noah to build. And this time, this building is not God's plan. This is not God's plan. It's called a giant staircase to heaven, the Tower of Babel from Genesis 11. Noah and his family lived in the land and his children had children. Oh boy and those children had more children, and then those children had even more. Well, you get the picture, until there were lots of people on the earth once more. Now back then, everyone spoke exactly the same language, so you didn't need to learn Swahili or Japanese or anything because you could say hello to anyone and they knew what you meant. One day, everyone was talking and they came up with an idea. Let's build ourselves a beautiful city to live in. It can be our home and we'll be safe forever and ever. Then they had another idea. And let's build a really tall tower to reach up to heaven. Yes, they said. We'll say, look at us up here and everyone will look up at us and we'll look down on them and then we'll know we are something. We'll be like God. We'll be famous and safe and happy and everything will be all right. So they got to work. Brick by brick, the tower grew higher and higher 
until it soared above the city touching the sky. They built stairs in the tower to climb to the top. It was like a giant staircase to heaven. Look, they cheered, we're the ones. So what can we, ooh, see what we can do with our very own hands? They were quite pleased with themselves, but God wasn't pleased with them. God could see what they were doing. Do you see what they're doing? Do you see the big tower that they built? This is what the illustrator's idea is of what it might have been. Well, they I'm were, not building a big tower. I'm only getting about four layers. Cows I... are not good building material, babe. They were trying to live without him, but God knew that wouldn't make them happy or safe or anything. If they kept on like this, they would only destroy themselves, and God loved them too much to let that happen. So he stopped their plans. It seems like God has to interrupt our plans quite often, doesn't it? He had to interrupt Adam and Eve. He had to interrupt the people before Noah. And now he's needing to interrupt these people at the Tower of Babel. One morning, they went to work as usual, but everything was different. Their words were all new and funny. You see, God had given each person a completely different language. Suddenly, no one understood what anyone else was saying. Some would, would say, how do you do? And the other person thought they said, how ugly are you? It wasn't funny. You could be saying something nice like, such a lovely morning, and get a punch in the nose because they thought you said, hush up, you're boring. You couldn't even say pardon to check if you'd heard right because no one understood that word either. It wasn't easy to work together after that. As you can only imagine, people were always quarreling and fighting and getting in a dreadful muddle and becoming grumpier and grumpier until at last they were all too cross to keep on building. And they just had to stop. After that, people scattered all over the world, which is how we ended up with so many different languages th to this day. You see, God knew. However high they reached, however hard they tried, people could never get back to heaven by themselves. People didn't need a staircase. They needed a rescuer. Because the way back to heaven wasn't a staircase, it was a person. People could never reach up to heaven, so heaven would have to come down to them. And one day it would. I got five high. You did. I didn't get to the clouds though. No, I don't think you're gonna, baby. I think what we need to do is have the cows jump. Because I heard there was a cow that jumped over the moon. Well, are you gonna ride it? I don't know. Yeah, well, that's something to consider. I've I think. seen some come pretty close. <laughs> it's a clear fence. Yeah, that's yeah. not good when they do that, though. No, we do need Jesus to get us off this earth. Jesus if is we're the answer. Get off this earth Jesus is heaven. the answer. Let's pray. Our Lord and Father, I want to thank you for these precious stories that tell us that you are looking out for us, that you love us. And sometimes you have to save us from our own machinations. Thank you, Father. Thank you for sending Jesus, your Son, to show us your love and your way. We pray all of this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.